Hey, what's up, my guys and my friend? <laughs> I, almost, I almost said guys and gals. Hey, what's up, my friends? Joe McCall here. And on this daily, uh, no, it's weekly deals with Joe training that I'm doing. On today's video, I'm going to be walking through uh, how I like to talk to realtors. Some of you guys, you want to do marketing. You know the importance of getting leads, but you don't have a bunch of money to spend on marketing. Well, you know what? I get it. It's not a big deal. I'm going to show you a free way, a really, really good free way to get uh, a lot of leads without costing you anything. It's a free way to do marketing, to get leads, and it's by calling realtors. So I'm going to review a script that I have. And in fact, it's been a little while since I looked at this script. I'm going to maybe update it a little bit, kind of train you on how we do these deals. Okay, <clears throat> cool. Now, um, all right, so I'm going to share my screen here. Oh, by the way, I got something cool for you. If you are interested, this coming up May 17th through 18th, I am doing a two-day live workshop with two friends of mine, Ray Jong and Brent Bowers. <clears throat> Let me share my screen. It'll just be easier if I do that. Um, I got to find it. There it is. Okay. If you go to dodealsworkshop.com, I'm going to see if I can pull it up here. Just one second. I've got so many things up here. Start. Okay. There it is. Do you guys see that link right there? dodealsworkshop.com. Let me just tell you what we're doing. May 17th through 18th, Ray and Brent and I are going to be doing deals with you at Top Golf, and it's going to be a live workshop. We're only letting 30 people in. And in this workshop, we're going to be giving everybody who comes at least five motivated seller leads. We're going to be doing a bunch of marketing in advance and giving everybody five leads. And the day one, we're going to be teaching you how we do our marketing uh, how we <clears throat> talk to sellers, negotiate deals, how we talk to realtors, which I'm going to show you how to do today, and then how we make offers. So we're going to be making a bunch of offers, showing you how we do it. And then to the next day, you're going to be making offers with the leads that we give to you. If we have 30 people there, each person gets five leads. We're going to have 150 leads to give to everybody, which means we should easily be doing at least three deals out of this workshop. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a blast. And if you get a deal under contract and you want to partner with us, we will partner with you on the deal. We'll fund the deal. We'll help you close it. We'll coach you all the way through it. And it'll be um, really, very easy. Now, you'll have to partner with us on the deal. You don't have to, but it'll be cool if you do, right? Because uh, then we'll provide all the coaching, the support. We'll help you sell it. We'll find the buyers with you. Uh, we'll fund the deal so you can close in 30 days. You don't have to worry about listing a property if you don't have a license yet or you don't own the property yet, right? So this is called the Do Deals Workshop because we're going to be doing deals. And I've not done anything like this before. Uh, it's going to be once in a lifetime because I don't know if we're ever going to do this again. But if you go to dodealsworkshop.com, you're going to go to a page that looks like this. And uh, Brent, Ray, and I... Uh, are going to are talking about it here. <clears throat> we are already almost halfway sold out. We just opened the doors yesterday. And uh, uh, Ray is an immigrant from China. He's got an amazing, awesome story. <clears throat> he came here uh, barely speaking any English. I don't think he spoke any English at all. Started wholesaling houses. Uh, had some good success with that, but didn't like it and didn't enjoy it. It was too hard, too competitive. Started doing land as now killing it. And of all the podcasts I've done, hundreds and hundreds uh, of podcasts about vacant land. The one I did with him about a year and a half ago is the most popular podcast I've ever done, even more popular than my own. Ray has been just killing it with a, doing business, doing land. And, you know, he's got broken English, but a super smart guy, super enthusiastic. And, you know, I, I don't mean this in any way to, to downgrade him, but like, if he can do it, you can do it. Like some of you guys, you have all these excuses and if anybody could have excuses, it would be Ray, you know, doesn't know the area, the culture, uh, has has broken English, is maybe a little self-conscious about what people think of his accent, you know, and things like that, as anybody of us would if we were in another country. You know what I'm saying? Uh, didn't have much money, but is just making it happen. I love working with Ray. And then Brent, 
he's been doing land for a long time and he has a popular podcast and YouTube channel and has coached a ton of people to a lot of success working with Wholesaling Inc. and with his own Land Sharks program. He does a lot of vacant land deals that he sells with owner financing. So check this page out, dodealsworkshop.com. Um, you're going to love it. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Sorry for the, uh, the pitch. I'm going to talk about now um, talking to realtors. And I have a script. And I'm going to update this script. So I kind of have this script. And, and if you want this script, you can get it at simplelandkit.com. It's, it's free, simplelandkit.com. Um, and so this is a script right now for mainly dealing with, I already have a property under contract and I'm looking for a realtor to bring me a buyer. So I'm going to update this a little bit. I have some of this in my mind map in my main course, but I'm going to just do a new one here. So I'm going to update the title and then I'm going to uh, let's do this. Script for talking to realtors when looking for deals. So this is, do you get what we're doing here? We're going to be talking, cold calling realtors. And I'm going to do this in a minute. And I'm going to be talking to them and saying, hey, I'm looking for a deal. Can you tell me a little bit about this property? Make sense? So let me get this, the right fonts here. Okay. So... I'm just going to type this out, take some notes as we go through it. Um, hi, my name is name. And I am a vacant land investor. I see you have a property listed here. You don't have a couple minutes, do you? I'd like to ask you some questions to see if this would be something I would want to buy or something like that, okay? You can also say, I didn't catch you at a bad time did I now why do I do that it's kind of there's this thing of negative phrasing when somebody doesn't know who you are you're calling them for the first time it's like um, when you say something in the negative they tend to agree with you and so it's just a way to kind of I'm not good at explaining it but this is the way I learned how to do it from my mentors when I was first getting started I say things like that wouldn't interest you would it that probably wouldn't work okay all right. Um, I didn't catch you at a bad time, did I? So tell me about this property. Looks like a nice property. Why hasn't it sold yet? By the way, I don't have an agent representing me yet. How many people are watching me right now? I'm just curious. If you can see me on YouTube or Facebook, type something in the chat, would you? Okay, by the way, I don't have an agent representing me yet. If you can, maybe you can submit the offer for me and get both sides of the commission that wouldn't work for you would it why do i want to do that because i want this realtor to make a lot of money on me right i want them to know that i'm going to be making an, an offer on their property and if they can represent me then they can get both sides of the commission make more money than they normally would i'm also i have an ulterior motive here is I want to get on their list so if they ever find another off-market property, then I then they can bring it to me and I'll pay them 10% commissions. All right, cool. We've got some folks here from YouTube. 
What's up, J Love SPTI and Jeremy? What's up, Jeremy? Okay, so by the way, I don't have an agent representing me yet. If you can, maybe you can submit the offer for me and get both sides of the commission. That wouldn't work for you, would it? Um, all right, what else could I say? How negotiable is the seller on their price? Oh, before that, I like to ask. They aren't. They aren't in a hurry to sell it, are they? Oh, and before that, I like to ask. How long um, has it been on the market? By the way, I'm going to move this up a little bit. to more up there. So tell me about this property. Looks like a nice property. Why hasn't it sold yet? How long has it been on the market? They aren't in a hurry to sell, are they? How negotiable is the seller on their price? Now this is where you can ask some questions about, you know, the property, like access, wetlands, terrain, utilities, etc. Um, okay, I'm going to move this up here. Um, how to go for the seller on the price. I am looking at some nearby active listings. Is this right? I see one that's bigger for less. So what I'm saying there, and you'll see what I'm doing here in a minute. When I'm calling them, I say, hey, I see some other properties here that have active sold listings that have, um, you know, sold for less. That's bigger. Is that right? I'm trying to ask them, why do you think these properties have sold and yours hasn't. All right, I'm trying to get them to tell me that the price is, is oh, I remember what I was gonna ask. Um, what is the seller going to do if they can't sell this property? How long do they have to wait? I don't think, by the way, these properties are on the market for a long time. Why? Because they're overpriced or something's wrong with them, right? So I'm trying to get the, the trying to get to see if the seller's negotiable on their price, if they would accept something lower or whatever, right? Um, I don't know if I can get your client anywhere near that number. Looking at similar properties in the area I would need to be at around that wouldn't work would it um, if I could get them something closer to their asking price they wouldn't consider seller financing or payments over time would they so now i'm trying to figure out well if they won't take something ridiculous low maybe they could i could give them something close to their asking price if they would consider seller financing well how how about this I will email you an offer and maybe some options. You don't have to write up a contract. Just text them or call them for a verbal acceptance. If they like my number, we can proceed from there, okay? And if this deal 
doesn't work out, do you have any other off-market properties that I might be interested in? I pay 8 to 10% commissions. Okay, this is really important. Okay, you want to get their email, send them your information, and follow up with them every three to four weeks, asking them if they have any off-market vacant land deals. Do you understand why we're doing this? You want to get their email for follow-up. This is the real power of this strategy. I don't necessarily even care about that deal. I want to get the realtor's contact information. So next time they get a seller that says, hey, I want to sell this vacant lot that the realtor doesn't want to list because it's a pain in the butt and it's a hassle and it's going to sit out there for six to 12 months, they're going to call me. They're going to say, hey, you know what? I know an investor who's looking for vacant land. Would you like just me to give you a fast cash offer from this guy? And then your emails, okay? We'll do this here. Your email slash text follow ups will be something like this. Hey Jim, you probably don't remember me I am looking, uh, we talked a month ago, something like this, right? Not word for word, you know what I'm saying. I'm looking for off-market land deals. I pay 10% commissions. Do you have anything? Okay, and you're just going to send different variations of that every single month. Does this make sense, guys? Terry sees me on YouTubes. This person loves it. Awesome. Jermaine likes it. Awesome. Good. Somebody is asking in my Zoom, can I partner with you without being an Inner Circle member? No, you have to be an Inner Circle student member. Okay, so this workshop, I mean, sorry, this script that I have, um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and use it. Let's call some realtors. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, one of the counties that we're working on right now um, is Marion County, Florida. I like going to homes.com. I'll show you where Marion County is right up there. I like homes.com for a simple reason. Um, they are the only uh, website that lists realtors' properties with their phone numbers and sometimes email addresses, right? So I like to go here, look at all filters. Let's look up, uh, here we go, land. You can do the same thing, by the way. Everything I'm telling you right now, you can do the same thing with houses. Land. You know, let me show you what I would do with houses. Uh, let's just pick the uh, Jacksonville market. Jacksonville, Florida. So this is the Jacksonville. I'm going to remove the the data there, like the border. Uh, we're just going to look at houses, right? I want houses. I don't want anything super cheap. Like I'm looking for properties that are beat up, that need work, that have been on the market for a little while. So let's do max $200,000. All right. And so I just want houses. There's 559 under 200 grand. Maybe I go a little higher, 300 grand. Scroll down. I don't want any new ones. Well, there's not going to be new if they're under 300, but I might say built before the year 1980. There's 920 homes. All right, I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to do, um, not coming soon, I only want for sales. And I want to do, 
Keep on going. Days on market, more than one month. So Jacksonville's a hot market. Any property that's been on the market for longer than a month, something is wrong with it. Why hasn't it sold yet? It's just overpriced. The market is correcting. Maybe it needs work. I don't know. All right, so now I'm looking for homes that need updating. This one doesn't need any updating. This one doesn't need any updating. <clears throat> this one doesn't need any updating. Nope. Now, you could call these homes for uh, lease options, but you would typically want to call the, the owners. These are all nicer properties. All right, I'm going to sort by newest. So these are the newest ones that hit the market. It just hit the market. This one, okay, I just looked at that one. A lot of times you can tell from the pictures. All right, this one needs some updating, doesn't it? Yeah, I'd think so. Look at the ceiling. Look at the floor. Yikes. Kitchen, small dinky kitchen. Who's going to buy this but probably just an investor? An investor is going to buy this property, right? So guess what we've got here? Right here we've got a phone number. We've got, and sometimes you get our email address. Sometimes we don't. So I have two, two different phone numbers, 664 and 515. All right, this one's been on the market 29 days. The same conversation. Hey, the, tell me about this property. Why hasn't it sold yet? I know why it hasn't. I just want to know. How long has it been on the market? I'm sure you're getting a lot of calls on it, right? Ooh, that's a good thing to add to the, add to the script. Um, I'm sure you've been getting a lot of calls on it, right? Actually, yeah. Are you guys picking up what I'm laying down here? Oh, this is a good one from Jay. He's asking, how do you get sellers out of their contracts with realtors? Or do you usually wait out the contract? Great question, Jay. The answer is no, we don't do that. We are making offers directly through the realtors. Yeah, we are. And who is paying the realtors commissions, by the way? The seller is. But the seller is paying the realtor commissions and that realtor is representing us. So they're going to get both sides of the commission. That's why the realtor would be willing to work with us. Stupid, annoying investors that lowball everything. And I'm also, again, looking for the relationship so they can bring me other deals in the future. Where'd my mouse go? There it is. All right, so that would be a good one to call, wouldn't it? Yes. Let's look at this one. Does it need updating? Nope. I just want properties that need updating. Okay, now you could call these by the way, could you have a VA do this every day for you? Oh, I see boarded up window. This one's maybe not a boarded up window. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, so this is a good property. You would call it. Definitely needs, needs updating. A retail buyer is not going to buy this. Only an investor would want to buy this thing. And I'm going to ask a, a lot of realtor. Uh, one of the wow, look at that door frame. One of the things that you would ask if this was a house, um, oh, another question I'd like to ask, do you think this price is fair for this crazy market? and fair for the work it needs. So if it's, you know, if it's a um, if it's a house, you would ask these kinds of questions. Do you think the price is fair for this crazy market, etc.? Um, but you I would ask this realtor, you know, what would it take to get this property fixed up? 
how many how much in repairs do you think it needed it would need how much work does it need to get it fixed up and put back on the market and what would you think it could sell for so again I might know the answers to these but I want the realtor to give me their opinion on it right does that make sense okay so I know I'm telling you um, this is for land but land I'm trying to oops land houses by the way do you want this script you can get it right now for free at simplelandkit.com now I need to put this when I'm done with this I will put it into there's a Google Drive folder where the simple land kit is at but you can get this um, script there, okay? In fact, I think I'm good here. What I'm good here. I'm going to make a, uh, actually, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to put it in the Simple Land kit right now so you guys will have it. How does that sound? Kit. I think I have it in my other Google Drive folder. If you have any questions, type this. Type in the. Uh, okay, I need to go to my other Google Drive account. J is real. J is real has a question. Do you have about the same success with houses that have updates, but they've been sitting an equal amount of time versus the ones that need work? No. So if a property doesn't need any up, doesn't need any updates, it's already rehabbed. Those are a lot harder to do and you can certainly do those that would be more of a kind of a um huh that would be more of a um maybe creative financing lease option or something like that well i am looking for my script here and i've got to find it because I want to make sure you guys have this newest, updated, radically awesome and amazing script. There it is. I found it. Okay, hold on here. When you go, I'll just share my screen. All right, when you go to simplelandkit.com, you're going to get the access to this Google Drive. And I have in here my motivated land seller script. Okay. And I also have my land agent helper. Okay, so I'm going to put this script right in here. I'm going to do, I'm going to make a copy of this. And I'm going to call this new. And Land Flippers Toolkit, Land Agent Helper. Boom. Okay, now it's in there. You happy? <laughs> cool. All right. Maybe I should have done this before we started this training, but there it is. It's there for you. Okay, so let's call some realtors. What do you say? By the way, we're going to be doing this at the uh, Do Deals Workshop. If you go to do deals dot, I'm sorry, do deals workshop dot com right here, we're going to be actually teaching you. Brent and well, Brent specifically has a very unique way that he contacts realtors for vacant land deals, and so you're going to hear us actually call realtors and talk to them about vacant land deals. So um, we're going to be doing that live. You could be doing it as well while you're there. 
but we're going to be giving you leads from our direct mail. We're going to do direct mail in advance. We're going to give you the leads. And day two, uh, we're going to then call all of these. I'm sorry, we're not going to call. You can if you want. You can call the leads, but you're going to make offers to those leads. All right. Cool. So go to dodealsworkshop.com. We're only letting 30 people in and we're, we're going to sell out probably this week. So chop, chop and get to that. Okay. All right. So that's a, a house that you could call, but we're looking for vacant land. So I'm going to go back here to homes.com and Marion County. You know what? Let's look in the Jacksonville, Florida area. I like vacant land out here. I'm going to clear this area. So now it's this whole area around Jacksonville. I'm going to go to all filters. We're going to go to lot size. I don't want the little dinky ones. So I'm going to like 7,000 square feet is um, 7,000 divided by 43, 560 is 0.16 acres. OK. I don't want the giant ones either. So let's do maximum five acres. Well, let's do 10 acres. Land only. Cool. All right, I'm going to go down here. Now I'm going to do days on market longer than. Should we do three months or six months? Let's see how many we have at three months. 1,500. Let's do six months. 1,100. Holy smokies. All right, let's. we can also do days reduction in the last 30 days. So these are properties that have had a price reduction in the last 30 days. We've got 28 of them. We do more than 30 days over one month. We've got 57. Let's just do any. Okay. Let's do newest. So these are new properties that just came on the market. I've just hit the 60 days and they haven't sold yet. Um, all right. So I don't want the real expensive ones that are in. I mean, you could. But I just want <clears throat> everything under 100000 bucks, And I don't want the real cheap ones, the $10,000 ones, because those properties, I'm going to need to sell them for probably, if to get them sold, I'm going to need to sell them for 8000 which means I'm going to need to buy them for maybe 500 if I can sell them. So I want anything, it has to be at least twenty grand. Does that make sense? I need to have meat on the bone. All right, let's look at this one here. It's 5.52 acres. Putnam County. I love Putnam County. It's been on the market 180 days. Uh, it has I have no idea where it is. Nettles Road and Walters Lane. Nettles Road and Walter Lane. So I'm going to do, I like going to Redfin. Nettles Lane. Three, two, one, four, zero. Three, two, one, four, zero. Oh, Nettles Road Lane. Let's see if that works. There we go. All right, so there's Nettles Road. There's, so the property's right in the center of that map, right? So let's call this agent up. Sina. Sina? Oh, there's no phone number. Well, maybe that's one reason why it hasn't sold yet. That's a great idea, realtor. <laughs> Put your property out there, but that don't have a way for anybody to reach you. All right, well, let's look at another one. This looks like a good one. Hastings, Florida. Let's open it up. Skyler. I'm going to copy this address. Let's just put it right here in Redfin. It's for sale, 39800 I can go to sale, tax history. 
Huh, they've actually raised the price. Sometimes I want to see, you know, when it was, if I can tell when it was last purchased. So it looks like it sold for 20 grand in May 21. Okay, it's 1.14 acres. Well, I, here's the th deal too. I'm, I'm glad I'm doing this because I'm making a big mistake that I'm going to tell you that you shouldn't be doing. You should not be doing a bunch of research before you even call this agent up. You should just call them to see if you can even reach them. So let's do that right now. 386-270-3584. Press 1 to be connected with the listing agent. This call may be recorded. That's right, it may be recorded. <laughs> In more ways than one. Can you guys hear it? Type in the chat. Give me a thumbs up. Muhammad, the answer is yes. I'm making offers right there on the phone. Approximate offers. Can you do creative financing with your realtors too? Yes. On houses, mainly. Sometimes there is a another phone number here. Sometimes there's not. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom. Sometimes there's a phone number and email down here. Yeah, so it's a different number. Let's call that one. 386-22-56554. This is Skyler. How can I help you? Hey, Skyler. Joe McCall. How are you? Good. How you doing, Joe? Good. I'm calling at a bad time, am I? No, no, you're good. All right. I, I'm calling about this, um, I think it's a one-acre property, vacant lot you have in Hastings, Florida. 32145. Are you familiar with that one? Yeah, yeah. I have uh, one on Underwood and another one on Jaeger, and I think I have one on Delgado as well. Okay. Are these the same owners? Yeah. Ah. Well, I'm a land investor. I'm looking to buy some deals. And um, I don't have an agent representing me. So if I, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some questions and get some more information about this property to see if it um, might be something I'd be interested in. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, and, and what I typically do is when I buy land, I like to sell it on owner financing. But okay. um, yep, yeah, that's a good way to do it. Just like a landlord, but uh, with vacant land instead of houses. Yeah, you can rent it out or, you know, they can yeah. build on and things like that. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of different options there. Um, so the, um, I'm kind of new to the area. I live in St. Louis. So I'm not, um, I come down to Florida about once or twice a year, but I, I'm, we're buying land. We're selling it on seller financing and I don't have an agent representing me. So if, if I don't know if the work, if the numbers would work on this, but you could represent me and get both sides of the commission. Does your broker allow that? Yes. Okay. Um, so this property, I'll just, just look at the one on Yeager Avenue. Um, mm -hmm. It's 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 listed here as forty nine thousand seven hundred square feet. Is that like one point one acres or something like that? Yeah, one point one four acres. Yeah, that's the standard lot size out there. Okay, and um, is this an area where there's a lot of people just building new homes, or are they buying this for more recreational? To... Uh, this one's this specific part of the area. So they have both there. Um, typically, on the southern side of the area, uh, you're getting more recreational land. Uh, that's where you're going to see your ten thousand, fourteen thousand, yeah, uh, dollar properties. Um, in that area where I have those listed, you're seeing a lot of new construction there. Oh, really? Uh, the area is growing. Uh, they got paved roads. They're putting in more and more infrastructure. Um, so there's a lot of growth going out there. Uh, Miranda's building out there. Are you familiar with Miranda Homes? Uh yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're building out there. They build like um, luxury. They're a production builder, but I mean, their standard stuff is like you know granite with the tile. Uh, they build they build a nice home. Okay. <clears throat> and they're doing a lot out there as well. So I'm just looking at the satellite view, and there's some 
maybe newer homes, older homes. Looks like on the other yeah. s- side, there's like even a trailer. Are there? Is it like in an HOA? Are there restrictions? No HOA, no restrictions. There are manufactured homes out there as well. Okay. Um, utilities. So uh, utilities. Um, it's going to be shoot. I want to say it's city water with septic. Okay. Yeah, city water with septic. Yeah. Uh, is it I no- could be wrong. I would I would recommend just double checking with the county on that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because uh, I'm just not in front of the computer right now. Okay. Uh, flood zone wetlands. Do you know? Uh, X flood zone on all of them. Underwood does have wetlands, but it is buildable. Okay. What does X flood zone mean? Lowest risk. Okay. Because when people say no flood zone, they mean X flood zone. Because every property has a flood zone. Well, the whole state of Florida is a flood zone, isn't it? <laughs> And primarily it's X, which is like half a percent over the course of 500 years. So, uh-huh. you know, pretty negligible. Okay. Um, so is that road paved? Looks like Yeager. Uh, for those ones, no. They're graded. There is a major paved road going through the area, but the rest are just dirt roads that are, you know, government maintained and graded. Okay. Um, is there a demand? What do you think the demand is for selling something like this with seller financing with payments? Uh, I, I couldn't help you there. I don't really do a lot of seller finance oh. deals. All right. Um, how long has it been on the market? I'm just trying to f- look at this here. Do you know? Just over six months. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm kind of surprised it's been on the market that long. Do you know why? Is there something like uh, he, he increased the prices he's planning to build on them if they don't sell ah uh-huh. so- um we sold a few of them i had a few i had a few lots out there for him uh we sold about let's see here listed about five sold two of them uh for a good price and then he said okay raise the price of the others and um you know if they don't sell i'll build on them yeah so he's not in a hurry to sell no he's an investor yeah and his price probably isn't negotiable um, he, he's, he's, he likes to wheel and deal. I'm just looking here at on actives um, in the area. I zoomed out. There's a street next to it called uh, Weatherby, I think. Mm-hmm. And um, another street next to it called, oh, I just lost it. Where'd it go here? Um, well, I just lost it. But there's a, um, they have Vaughn, I think. I, there's a, on the si- street next to it, there's a, same size property for sale for 17 and another property same size for sale for 15. I would be wary of wetlands on those properties or having to do a lot of site prep. The lots we have listed, they're high and dry. Uh, even the one with wetlands on it, um, where, they, where there's wetlands, it's lower, but the other parts are high up. So this is like, need a lot of fill. Okay. Well, this is like just probably a couple hundred yards away. Yeah. So it, it matters like, that short of a distance, it could be worse than yeah. Others. Yeah, there's some spots where you know people lucked out and they built and they got wetlands all around them. Interesting. Yeah, so I mean, it, it can be really hit or miss out there. I recommend if you Google search this, there's a wetlands mapper with FW, yeah. FWS. Utilize that's your friend out there. Yeah, that's, that's like your that's my best friend out there. That's like I'm helping buyers out there buying and investing stuff. That's that's what I I'll. I'll put every property we look at through that. I'm zooming out a little bit. There's a lot of active sold. I mean, a lot of recent solds, but I'm seeing some solds mm-hmm. for 5,900, 6,500, 7,000, 9,400, 10,900. Yeah, I just sold the one right next to the Jaeger property. We sold that for 30,000. Okay, nice. Yeah. Was that uh, just a somebody who wanted to build on it? Like yeah, a, they were buying it to build on it. Okay. I believe it was an investor, a builder who bought it, though. Okay, well, good. Um, hmm. Well, I, you know, like everyone else out there, I'm looking for deals, and it doesn't sound gotcha. like this guy would be much interested in negotiating or lowering their price, right? Uh, no, I wouldn't say heavily. What, what were you think? Were you thinking of going below thirty per acre on that? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, just looking at. Yeah. I'd have to look at the flood. Though. I have to look at the flood maps. I'm sure you're right, but. Um, yep. We can close cash 30 days, but I, you know, my goal is to turn around and sell them with seller financing. So I've got to have a little bit more room in there. For yeah, you gotta have, yeah, you gotta have that. You gotta protect that margin. I understand that. Yeah. 
um, yeah, no, I understand. If you're coming in below 30, look, I'll, I'll, I'll spitball it to him. If he's interested, I'll give you a call back. Okay. Um, but odds are he's not going to, he's not going to go for anything under, under 30. He probably won't even counter there. Yeah. He'd probably want to land at like 35 or something like that. Yeah. Well, you know, listen, Skyler, would you add me to your buyer's list? Um, I'm always looking yeah. for off market deals. Right. Mm -hmm. Like if I, if I bought something in this area, just looking at sold comps and you know this way better than I do, but you know, I would, I would need to buy something in the $10,000 range. Like I'm seeing other sold comps here, um, mm -hmm. 10 to 15 maybe, but I, I pay 10% commissions. If you can bring me a deal, can I just send you my, um, contact information? Yeah. Send me your contact info. Let me know the areas you're looking at. Yeah. I do. I can cover a very wide, wide area, especially when it comes to land. Because uh, as you know, a lot of it's just you know research. Um, I'd be happy to help you out and you know help you find the next deal. Do you um, um, do you ever find off uh, properties off market and you know before you list it on the MLS? Do you ever just call your buyers? Um, typically, not really, unless I know it's somebody who's who's serious or they're looking in that specific area. Okay. Um, I don't know if you're interested in you know Indian Lake Estates out there, Lake Wales, Florida. If you're interested in that area, do you have a a property out there okay. at 804 Valencia Street that is listed. Um, we had it under contract to sell at the current list price. Uh, however, there were some probate issues, and the owner lives in the Philippines on a village island. Oh, wow. Um, so it <laughs> took about three or four months to get everything situated, just trying to get out there. The daughter or the aunt, the niece had to fly out to there. Oh, to handle everything um, we, we had a, an older lady we, we did a deal like that one time and that was definitely yeah. challenging the owner was yeah, well, in it's, uh, it's all set to close in two weeks now we have everything lined up we just got to use our title company because they have everything lined up already but, um but the buyer backed out yeah, the buyer got tired of waiting you know it was like four months so whenever we finally got started getting stuff signed um and he's like yeah i'm just i'm gonna move on um, was, do you think it's a, it's a fair price that an investor would want? Yeah, I, I think so. And I, I know they're negotiable. They'd really like to just have it done. Um, so the address is 804 Valencia. Yep. Valencia street street. And in Indian, yeah, it's an or Avenue or something. It's an Indian Lake estates, Indian Lake estates. Well, I'll look at it here in just a minute after we hang yeah. up. Um, Okay, cool. I'll take a look at it and uh, I'll shoot you an email, and uh, maybe I'll just shoot in the email. Like I'll tell you what I maybe what I could offer for it or something like that. Yeah, um, that sounds great. What's your email address, Skyler? It's good. I'll text it to you. Okay, cool. All right. Good talking to you, man. I look forward to working with you maybe soon. Absolutely, sounds good. I look forward to working with you as well. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. See you. See you. Bye bye. Okay, cool. What'd you think of that? Give me some feedback. All right, in your face, Jerry Norton. Come on now, who's who's bigger flipping genius, me me or Jerry Norton? Jerry Norton's my hero, and uh, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I'm just messing with Jerry. Uh, he does all of these. Uh, watch me call sellers live, make offers live, call realtors live do deals live. And so he's uh, inspired me and challenged me to do the same thing and step up my YouTube game. What'd you guys think of that? Did it come through? Were you able to hear it? Type in the chat in YouTube or Facebook. I want to make sure you guys, did that make sense? Really simple, very simple and easy, isn't it? Oh, we got a ton of you watching right now. So just say, Joe, you're a flipping genius. Joe, type in the comments, Joe, you're a bigger, better flipping genius than Jerry Norton is. <laughs> I'm going to see Jerry in next week. I'm flying out to Orlando for a workshop. going to be hanging out with him and Pace Morby and uh, Jamil. Uh, Don Miller will be there from StoryBrand. Uh, what's his name? Grant Cardone will be there. A bunch of other cool people. 
Yeah, very good comment here. That sounded good. Sounds like you didn't want to offer anything if it didn't sound like a motivated seller. Yeah, so, you know, I'm just kind of like, I'm looking for deals, right? Tell me what you've got. Good, that makes sense. That was a good call, Joe. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Marvin. Oh, I finally got it. Joe, you're a flipping genius. <laughs> oh, and Tessa. Yeah, thank you, Tessa. I'm a flipping genius. All right, I'm probably going to get a text from Jerry telling me, hey, knock it off. <laughs> uh, Jerry and I um, were good friends. I was in, I've told the story many times, but I was in Puerto Rico. I filmed some videos with him a year ago on his for his YouTube channel about flipping vacant land. And I was um, having these heart things going on, my palpitations and stuff like that. But I just wanted to do, I didn't tell him, I wanted to do these videos. And and, um, and we went and played... Uh, pickleball that night and then the next morning we went and go went and shot uh, a ton of iguanas we went iguana hunting um when i got back home shortly a few days later went to the doctor and you know found out i had uh, severe heart problems and didn't know it's all congenital things that i've been born with i didn't have a heart attack i was just having heart palpitations feeling dizzy um so went to see the urgent care doctors and they said, hey, this is not good. And a few days later, I went into open heart surgery and had my aortic valve replaced, which apparently is not a big deal because it happens all the time. This hospital I was at does three or four of these every single day. And so, yeah, I got it all taken care of. So, um, yeah. All right. Was that helpful? Now, if you want that script I used to talk to that agent. And you see, did you notice in that script when I was using it, um, I didn't go word for word down there on that script, word for word coming down through it, all right? I was just, you know, hey, talking to that realtor, asking some questions. Do you notice some things that I did in here that maybe um, would help you? I didn't catch you at a bad time, did I? All right, do you mind if I ask you some questions to see if it would be something I would want to buy? So I want to get the realtor to sell me on the deal. I tell them I'm open. I'm honest right up front. Hey, I'm an investor. I'm in St. Louis. I'm looking for deals. I don't have an agent representing me. Um, you can get both sides of the commission. That wouldn't work. So tell me about the property. Um, I didn't ask this. You, I'm sure you've been getting a lot of calls, but that would have been good. Why hasn't it sold yet? Why? How, how long has it been on the market? You can tell the motivation on a one to 10 level with this realtor, uh, with the seller was probably zero. They're not in a hurry to sell. I was asking questions about wetlands, terrains, et cetera. Um, is that a fair price? How negotiable? Not very negotiable. And I was asking him about sold comps and active comps. And it was interesting what he was saying that the the floodplain issues vary lot by lot. I don't know if I believe him, but maybe. Um, definitely never argue with a seller or a realtor when you have them on the phone. Um, what is the seller going to do if they can't sell the property? They're going to build on it, right? So their motivation is not very high. They have a long time to wait. Um, I did not ask about owner financing. I thought about that. I should have, but I just didn't. Um, so I'm going to send them. He's going to text me. Uh, let's see if I got a text yet. Yeah, cool. I got his uh, email here. Let's take a look. Well, we got a few more minutes here. Um, let's take a look at that other property he was talking about. And uh, let's let's just open up a new Redfin window. And it was 804. Oops. Let me move my piece of paper keyboard out of the way here. 804. Oh, I just saw it right there. Did you see that? No, no. Valencia. Boom. All right. This is a property. Oh, cool. They're asking 169 for it. It's been on the market 133 days. It is in an HOA, which might be okay. I don't know. Let's take a look at some pictures here. Um, so it has, does it have water access? It's got some amenities for sure, right? Doesn't look like it has road access or water access. But the seller is in Philippines, probably a little bit motivated, wants to sell. Now, what price could I sell this property for, you're wondering? They're asking $16,000. How, let's look at the sale tax history on it. 
So it's been active since December, which is now four or five months. They listed it for sixteen nine. They had they tried to sell it in twenty three, January. It hasn't sold. So there's no we don't know when they last purchased it. I just clicked the sale tax history here, right? Um, all right, so let's go back to the uh, the beginning and let's click on this map right here. Let's do, I'm gonna see where this is actually first. Let's zoom out. Oh, this is a great area. Let's look at flood zone. Eh. This might be what he was talking about before. There's certain areas that are in flood zone, certain areas that aren't. This looks like it might be, right? Um, let's, I like to look at, um, I'm going to copy this. Let's look real quick on uh, ID.land. A lot of lots. I'm looking to see are there other properties that have been built here? There are. Okay, that's good. Let's click on overlays. FEMA floodplain. Ah, nothing. That's interesting. Let's zoom out and make sure it's working. Now there's the FEMA floodplain zones. And let's look at wetlands. Huh. So I trust this more than I do the Redfin. Does it take this? I've seen this several times where... Um, now, there is a... Oh, well, there's a website that... For flood... Um, hmm, flood zones maps. FEMA has a uh, something here. You're not finished with me yet. Oh, I don't know. This would take me a while, but I, I found that uh, land ID is usually pretty good. All right, so this property is, um, oops cancel it's owned by Augusto LL Buane their address is in Michigan absentee owner they're in the Philippines probate they've got it all figured out I'm I think I want to make an offer on this right uh, so what kind of offer would I make okay you can see it last sold here in 1987 for 20 grand Hmm. This looks like a good deal. But what price could I sell it for? That's kind of all I care about. I want to know what I could sell it for. They're asking sixteen nine for it. Let's click on this map. Let's click on nearby homes for sale. It's going to put this property right in the center. If I zoom in, there's the property right there. Let's look at land only. How big is our property here? It's a half an acre, which is probably all these are half an acres, right? So let's do lot size, quarter acre to one acre. Sort from low to high. All right, so this is really important to know, isn't it? This property is for sale for 13.5. If I'm going to sell my property with seller financing, I'm going to make sure I need to be the lowest, one of the lowest here. So, or if I sell it for cash, I'm going to need to sell it for probably 13,000. I want to be the cheapest, right? These are all the same. Like this one is just see where I turn into red down there. Um, this one is just across the street for sale for 15. How long has this one been? This 13, this one for 13,500. How long has it been on the market? 
51 days and it hasn't sold yet. How long has this one been on the market? 54 days and it hasn't sold yet. Now, sometimes these areas, when HOAs are going to be a little harder to sell, I'm a little concerned about that. Let's look at solds. Oh, I forgot pendings. You always have to look up pendings. Don't forget to look at pendings because you might find some. Let me zoom out. See, this one's pending for 12900 What if we did only a search for pendings? All right, this tells you that there's some deals getting under contract here. That's a good sign. But they're selling for 12 9 15 16 16 Okay, let's look at solds last three months. Oh, this is nice. Look how many solds in the last three months. This tells me what? This means that there is a lot of activity here. This is good. So I'm going to need to be, I'm going to tell, I'm going to email the realtor here as soon as we're done with this. I'm going to email them and say, hey, I'm, I'd like to make an offer on it, but I'm going to need to be right around 10 grand. So I don't know if that would work. I'm going to offer around 10 grand, close in 30 days. And um, I'm going to offer the realtor. You know what? I might offer the, the realtor. Well, let's look at this one because sometimes it tells you what the agent commissions are. 5% buyer's agency fees. All right, so... Um, this realtor will get to represent me and get both sides of the commission. So they're going to make 10%, uh, which is about a thousand bucks. It's not much, right? He just wants to help. But I'm going to tell him, hey, you can also, when I turn around and list it to sell it, you can also help me and I'll pay you some commissions as well on the sales side of this if you, were, if you want. But I'm going to need to be definitely, I'm going to buy it somewhere in this price range. And uh, what I'm going to do is also probably I'm going to send the agent, uh, these comps here of what I'm looking at. I might even do a loom video. Let's do a loom video right now. What do you say? I wonder if my computer will let me do this. Um, all right. You guys know what loom is? If you go to loom.com, you can create recordings of your screen, okay? So I'm going to send an email to this realtor, and his name was, I already forgot. Oh, come on, McCall. Skyler. Okay. I'm going to send a video to Skyler and, and tell him, hey, I'm looking at this property here. Okay. And I'm going to start with for sales and pendings first. And I'm going to zoom in to his property right here. Okay. So I'm going to do loom, and I'm not going to do camera just my I'll do a camera so my uh, no, let me try another camera here okay all right so I'm doing a loom video now we'll see if this works <laughs> this is crazy my camera is using being used in three places Ecamm Live, which is sending it to YouTube and Facebook. It's being used in Zoom right now for my students in Zoom. And I'm using that camera also for a Loom video. And I'm using my mic in all three of different places. We'll see if this works. <laughs> Dang it, I forgot his name. So I'm going to do it again. Hold on here. Skyler, 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 Skyler. All right, what's going on here? All right, here we go. Hey, Skyler, how are you? Joe here. Uh, we just talked a minute ago. And I'm looking at this property. I think I'm interested. I like it a lot. Um, I was looking at some comps in the area, just kind of what we were doing before. And um, your property is right there in the center. And I'm zooming out. And um, if I'm sorting this low to high, and I've got similar size properties, 
I see a pending here for 12.9. Uh, current active listings for 13.5. But um, so my again, like my like we talked about before, my goal is to turn around and sell this with owner financing. So I'm going to need to sell it probably somewhere around this price range uh, with owner financing. Um, you know, so and I also looked here quickly at solds in the last six months, let's say. And I see some solds here. And I'm zoomed out quite a bit, but 5,800, 7,000, 7,000, 8,500, 8,500, 9,000, 9,000, 9, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if I zoom in, um, so I'm just going to need to be somewhere in this price range. And um, so I don't know if that would work before we write up an offer. Um, would, maybe you could send them a message and just ask them, hey, would you consider something like what these are selling for, you know, eight to 10 grand or you know, maybe eight or nine grand. Um, I can close in 30 days, pay cash. Um, I don't really need any, kind, maybe one or two weeks contingency for just a little bit of due diligence. And as long as the title is clear and we're good, I can I can close pretty quick on these. Um, but my goal would be to sell it on owner financing. So maybe you could represent me and even just relist it on the MLS, help me find an owner financing buyer. I'll pay you 10% commissions or whatever is standard custom for you guys. Um, cool. All right. Let me know if that works or not. I, I appreciate you. All right. You guys see that? Did that all work? I th think we're all here. Well, what I have now is a Loom video. All right. So if you copy this link, I can put it in an email when I send it to this realtor and he can click on that Loom video, which is this really long link right here. And it will have this video of me talking to him in the corner, recording my screen, kind of walking through what I'm doing. I'll play the, the video. And it even um, gives it a title. It gives it a written summary, which is fascinating. This written, it uses AI. Hey there, in this video, I analyze a property that I'm interested in and discuss my offer strategy. After looking at comps in the area, I found that the property is priced around 13.5. However, my goal is to sell it with owner financing, so I'll need to negotiate a lower price I also checked recent sold prices, which range from, isn't this amazing? <laughs> this is crazy and amazing. Um, and so then from here, you know, um, uh, here's the transcript and um, he can comment and give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down or a middle finger if he wanted. I'm, I, I don't think there's a middle finger button there, but yeah, so I can send him, I just copy this link and I send him an email and say, hey, I'm interested in this property. Check out this video down below. Let me know what you think. And we can go from there, right? Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I got to get going. I was going to show you a number. Um, why don't we come back to the next workshop video thing that I do here? And I'll show you what I would do with this property and how I would sell it with owner financing. Where's my profit going to come from? And there's not much room in here. I'm buying it for maybe eight or 9,000. I'm selling it for 15 or 16,000 on owner financing. Um, well, wait till you see this because the cash flow numbers are really, really good on this. Okay. Um, you basically get your money back within on this deal. I get my money back in about eight to 10 months, maybe 10 to 12 months, get my money back. Um, so that means a hundred percent cash on cash return in the first year. And I'm probably looking at 200 to 300% total ROI on this deal over three to five years. Great passive income, passive cash flow on these deals. You can buy these kinds of deals with a credit card. So anyway, hope that was helpful for you. Two things again, if you want that realtor script that I use, go to simplelandkit.com. And if you want to go to this two-day workshop we've got coming up, dodealsworkshop.com. I appreciate you all. We'll see you. Take care.